Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Tahan Zoo, our sandbox build here in Planet Zoo. This is the build for the Southeast Asia Animal Pack that I want to continue into the Wetlands Animal Pack, which is coming here on Tuesday. But I want to start off today by building for the Bengal Tiger. Don't know that I've built for Bengal Tigers very often, but I want to go ahead and get a habitat going for them. And it's going to be part of a carnivore complex that includes the snow leopard and wolves as well. So let's get in here and get the path worked out. Get the length correct. I want the path to be fairly defining. that. There we go. So what I'm going to have is a moat that separates the tigers from the guests. I'm going to chisel that in. And again, this is based on the tiger habitat at the Singapore Zoo. So there's the front. And I have some reference pulled up on my second screen. And I want to smooth this side pretty heavily here. water in here, it's going to come to right there. Is that deep enough? That is not even close to deep enough. So let's chisel this part down quite a bit further. Smooth this really hard again. And get the water back in there. Alright, so that works well. That looks like an appropriate distance. Then what I want to have is this ledge of some rock work up here where the uh, tigers are going to rest. Turn this to uh, not quite that dark. somewhere around there. Alright, so we've got our little rock area here. Better of a defined shoreline here. And I want my plaster building pieces. I'm going to turn this kind of a dark green. 
Yeah, that works. That'll blend in nicely into the palette of this zoo. And what I want is the holding building here. a couple of things there. Now it's going to be kind of a long, narrow building. And this is going to be the indoor holding for the tigers. Uh, sometimes it's called the night den. And we're going to have a gate right here. And I want it to be more like this. Make sure I'm snapping to that same snap point. And I don't know why today I feel like doing the interior. We could expect those would be the actual holding cages for the tigers. The chute that they would move down to go in and out. Then I'm going to stick the barrier in here. Right, like that. I'm going to use my steel mesh barrier. On the side here. Right up to the water. Where it's going to turn into our null barrier. and get our doorway in there. And I think I'm just going to do this as a single story. This should all be the same color, because I want it to kind of just disappear into the background. There we go, we're just gonna roof this in nice and quickly. Alright, there is our t 
tiger enclosure. We're going to use the actual in-game barriers. They need to be tall enough. So I always bring those up to four meters. Works well. Connect the path. We'll just connect this down along the edge here. We can go ahead and get rid of the size guide. And we'll get our tigers in here. And because it's sandbox, it won't matter that we put three males in here. These are going to be three tiger brothers, they were raised together, they get along, so they live together. Now I want a railing along here that's going to be custom. Get rid of blueprints, make this easier. It's going to be too small. Where is the round? Round metal beam. Do we have round metal beams in here? Yes, we do. That will do. And I'm just going to use the as kind of a guide here for four meters. that. And then I want to take this and make it into a group. I'm going to paint this the same nice dark color. thin metal piece, hopefully metal. Hmm, that could work. Is that flexi color? Oh my gosh, it's flexi color. Look at that. It's a little bit thick. But I think it will do. Try that again. I don't know why I clicked off that there. Other than I'm tired and it's been a long day at work. We have physical inventory this week. Which has been super fun.
grab these three, duplicate them. Duplicate and duplicate. All right, that is our barrier. Guess farrier. Julie, I think I want a curve on here as well. That's a little thick. Let me try that again. There we are. That got it to snap correctly. Actually, that's not bad. Lower that down more. Yeah, that works well. And then what else do we have that would work? Perfect. That's just perfect. I want this to be a nice thick barrier that guests can lean against and look over. Oh, we got a kitty swimming. There he goes. Oh good, that's deep enough they can do their deep swimming. Okay, so that did not need to be that deep. I have no ability to judge scale in this game at all. All right, just gonna duplicate this down along here. And I want this to be a fairly integral part of the exhibit design itself. And then finish this side. Alright, so that looks good. Now 
And we're going to take these planted wall panels here and create like a uh, planter bed here in the middle. Sticking through too much. Yeah, it's way too much. Mm. Oh, not that. Not that. Better, much better. Hmm, I think looks like there's gonna be an easier way to do this, which is to just make this part of the dang group. So I'm going to go like this. This will actually be much easier, and now I wish I'd done this before I put the entire fence in. Some wood pieces. I want to build an edge for this and actually just drop a concrete wall down. Actually, let's go with plaster. Since we're already using plaster, we're just going to stick with it. plaster wall panel. Okay, that is better. Now one more thing. Right about there. And here we are, metal beam small. Angle snap is your friend in most cases. And over there. All right. Now, I want to 
gonna take this, split that from the group. Now we can just go like this. All the way down. And see if I had thought ahead, I could have made this as all one piece and done this all in one step. But I didn't think ahead. Because like I said, it's been a long day. But before I do anything else, I want to get rid of this stuff. Because I don't need it. Try to keep the piece count down a little bit. This is running just fine on my computer. But at some point you do get up to where the piece count starts to make it big for mercy. detail of the tigers. I want this to be nice and lush, kind of rocky, lots of foliage. Let's get our terrain painting in here. And I'm completely ignoring their terrain paint requirements because reasons. It's gonna make it mostly soil. Tropical in Asia. Mm. We'll have one big strangler fig in here. and loads of our bangle bamboo. In fact, we're going to use it to hide the fence. disguise most of the building as well. Even though we did make it that shade of green. What else? What else? Uh, custard apple trees are always good. Make these a little bit lighter.
There we are. And then the favorite, Aquatic Faux Rock number seven. This side of the habitat. Let's get some blue lotus in the water here. Oh, hey, animals aren't rocking on the top of these anymore. That's good. Those are nice. Funny, I can watch as I place more and more plants, my frame rate starts to drop ever so slightly. We're up around 83, now it's dipping down into the upper 70s as I place more plants. <laughs> I'm a good computer, but this game will tax your system, especially as you get up there with the CPU usage. And Planet Zoo is far more CPU bound than it is GPU bound. Especially when you have guests in the zoo. Guests just. Oof. So sink plants into the ground to make smaller bushes. It also makes it so that a plant that the tiger normally couldn't walk through, like this custard apple, they can walk through the top of it means you can just spam it everywhere. Oh yeah, I forgot I had three of these in here. And our favorite scalova bush. We don't want to cover up the habitat gate itself. Yeah, that's better. We'll leave a little path through there. Tahan is to have an immersive zoo experience as possible. So that means hiding the fences, making sure that our barriers are as invisible as possible. So looking at 
water or glass as being the main separator between the guest and the animal. Though we do have this exposed fencing on this whole side here that I just don't like at all. I think I'm going to take this nice brown rock. Yeah, it's kind of similar to what we have for the clouded leopard and the sun bear habitats. And we'll just build this out with... with rocks just to get rid of this fence because I, I always try to use the planet zoo fencing and then remember that I despise it. And I just want to cover up this gap just to make sure nobody does anything dumb. Tries to go swimming with the tigers. side. A lot more on this side, actually. A filter again. Get some more bamboo in here. That's better. And yeah, that helps a lot. some large clusters in here. Hmm, what else are we missing? nice. We'll add some down into here as well. splash of color in here. Did that place sideways? Yes, it did. There is the Bengal tiger habitat. Not bad, not bad. Multiple animals are hungry. Why? Who's hungry? Actually, we've got one more thing that I forgot here. And last but not least, we need to put in the enrichment. For the tigers here. Mm -hmm. 
We'll sneak a couple of those up in there. Give them a box. Balls to play with. And of course, Blood Pumpkin. Yeah, maybe two. Yeah, we'll put one right there. Nice and visible. And a rubbing pad will stash. Back over here. I think that'll work. Now with all these plants, I do want to see one thing. Uh, okay, it's not terrible. I, I've definitely made worse. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Okay. Sure. I think it works. Alright. Now with their enrichment in there, that is the Bengal Tiger Habitat for Tahan Zoo. Get a screenshot there of these guys. Awesome. Yeah, they look excellent in their habitat. I do wish we had a white one. Singapore is known for their white tigers. But I like this. Do have this area to fill in. I'll probably do that off camera. So that has been this episode of Tahan Zoo. If you have enjoyed it, please leave it a like, a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I always appreciate those comments. I do read every one. Try to get to respond to everyone as well. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Hit that bell notification if you'd like to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.